Yo, what's going on guys? Airsoft Steenie here, back with another ghillie crafting tutorial. This time we are going to be covering how I ghillie craft a balaclava or in this case the Knobrich sniper boonie. Now this is the Everglade boonie, okay? We're going to go through the crafting process of this. Now I have added some raffia that I was just testing as well as some artificial ivy, but that's about it. Um, on the side here I have a bunch of um, AGM. Now, I will leave a link in the description for this material. You can find it on gillyup.com. And um, I have pretty much all this AGM pre-cut. So I highly recommend when you are ghillie crafting, just buy the AGM. Um, you can also go with the LeCover Halo Screen Mesh, which is still good. I'm not going to knock it, but I will say that if you get the Summer Crafting Kit for the AGM, you also get um, things like coconut rope, obviously more than enough cable ties than you'll ever need when crafting. And then you'll get cottons as well, which is very important in my opinion. And the LeCovert um, crafting kit doesn't come with cottons. So uh, for the price, I think that the AGM Summer Crafting Kit by Kicking Mustang and Silly Gilly is worth every penny. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for where you can buy this stuff. For the Sniper Boonie, I'm probably going to keep it to the light green as well as the medium green here. So I'm probably going to keep it to these two colors and basically I'm going to start with the darker greens on the bottom and once we make it halfway up to the top of the balaclava I'm going to switch to the brighter greens. That's kind of how I like to craft balaclavas. I like to go with the lighter on the top and then the darker on the bottom here. A lot of people don't talk about this too often but you can get tunnel vision when you're crafting any sort of um, material or any sort of, um, of concealment whether it's your top or your bottoms or the balaclava so what I like to do is just look at the balaclava here okay so we see some kind of open areas here where we can add some crafting material now the one thing that you don't want to do is just add your AGM or crafting material to the entire boonie and just cover it with this stuff that's not the point of how this actually works you want to create macro patterns of it now we can see here that there's macro patterns of the Knobrich leaves, right? We have a whole lot of Knobrich leaves bunched up in this area, but then we can see some exposed mesh in between. And these are the areas that, you know, we can kind of, you know, bunch up the crafting material in. So we can bunch up maybe crafting material in here, then right here, maybe up in here, and then the sides, which we're going to get to. But just know that you don't want to craft the entire thing with the AGM or any sort of ghillie crafting material. Same goes for leaves too, right? So right now what we're going to do is actually start by pre-poking cable ties onto the balaclava. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All I'm going to do is just poke the brown 2.5 millimeter cable ties through and I'm just going to make little loops like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue making loops in the general area, the more isolated area where I want to start the craft. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and jump cut to show you guys all the loops that I create. Alright guys, so I have now added all the looped cable ties. We have about 12 cable ties that I looped in this isolated area. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to add the AGM, the medium green. So what I like to do is stack three or four of them on top of each other. I bunch them up and I just toss them inside of a cable tie like so. And I loosely, I don't tighten it 100% so that I can spread all of the AGM out to make this flowery looking bud and the reason why I like doing this is this is actually a silly gilly technique and then you can just fully tighten it down once you're happy with it is that it creates a little more surface area than if you were to you know just toss some AGM in here and just leave it and I see this mistake done a lot by amateur ghillie crafters is they'll just toss it on and then they'll keep it like this and it looks like a little bow. You want to be spreading it out like so, which we're going to do on this one as well. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to add this medium green onto all of these cable ties and I'll show you kind of what it looks like when we have an isolated little spot of AGM. And you know what, I might even toss in just a couple, probably two max of the lighter green in here as well just to break it up a little bit so I'm gonna even add one right now alright guys so now we are making some progress here so um, here is the AGM applied to this area right here so as you can see we have the two lighter greens here just to add a little bit of depth to it and then we just kind of littered it with the uh, 
medium greens all around, okay? So one thing I did wanna to mention too, this leaf that I applied here is called the Casa Snipes Artificial Ivy. So this is what it looks like. It comes in these like sticks and twigs and you can, there's wire in them actually, so you can morph them to whatever shape that you would like and it stays there and it's really easy to apply this stuff onto any type of concealment. And I absolutely love these because when sun hits these, they brighten up, they, get, they become like this type of a light green, but then when they're dark, they kind of show up as like a darker green. So they kind of adapt to whatever light is actually hitting it, which is really cool. So I did add before the video, just some artificial ivy to the side. Now, the reason why I did it on the side here is because I like to get rid of the hard edges on balaclava. So um, the next area that we're gonna move on to here on the draped over part of the balaclava is probably this side right here. And this is just to get rid of these harsh edges on the side because that's what can ultimately give away a position when you are crafting improperly, right? Like when we get to the top here, um, as you can see, there's a lot of sharp edges on the hood here where the eyes are sitting, um, as well as on the top here. Like this, I on honestly want to craft like majority of this to get rid of these harsh edges. Um, same with even on the sides here as well. So um, right now we're going to add again more cable tie loops into this area and we're gonna craft kind of this area right here. Now, as you can see, once I craft this area, I'm leaving some space to let the Novritch leaves kind of do their thing. I'm leaving a little bit of exposed mesh there and now I'm gonna add even more material right here. And what this does is it creates macro patterns. So we got our AGM here, we got some open mesh in here, Novritch leaves doing their job, created um, you know a little bit of a macro pattern here of just leaf and then we're gonna hit it with more AGM. So we're going AGM, mesh, leaves, AGM. So we wanna kind of make it very spotty, a little messy, but being calculated, right? And I'm gonna show you guys another technique with the cottons and where, when I would apply cottons and where I would apply them after we're done applying the AGM. And then after that, we're gonna add the raffia. So I'm gonna go through, make these loops and apply the AGM onto this area. All right guys, so now we're making some pretty solid progress. So we got the AGM here. Now we have it running up the side of the balaclava. So now what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna start working a little bit over here. So because we have these Casa Snipes Artificial Ivy running up here, I kind of wanna hit the side a little bit, like right up here and into the lid of the balaclava. So we're gonna do that right now. We're just gonna run up a little strip of AGM right up the side here. All right guys, so we have the side here now crafted. Um, so when I look at this balaclava now, I see that this side is crafted with AGM. This one is starting to creep up there with more AGM, but what I'm gonna do on this side is probably hit it with more cottons. So this creates just a more disruptive pattern, right? You have AGM on this side of the head, but then I'm gonna fill this area with different colored cottons. So we're gonna do that now, and I'm gonna show you the difference. So I'm gonna be using the lighter brown and these darker brown cottons. Now what I like to do to prep for cottons, super simple, I just take two at a time and I just stack them on top of each other, just like so. And I continue to stack them. These are actually really long, so I'm gonna cut them. There we go. It's good like that. This one's pretty long as well. I'm just gonna cut it at, up at an angle. Now with cottons, you don't always have to use the same color stacked on each other. You can grab one cotton there in the light brown and then stack it with the darker brown. Now what we're gonna do is apply cottons into this entire general area. Now in between, I might add some light green AGM and I might even do that just first. So I'm gonna add just one right here, kind of mixing up where I'm actually placing them. So we're gonna toss one right here. I think we'll toss another one right on the lip of the hood at the top, putting them in random places, but then filling the gaps in with the cottons. I take my two cottons and I just fold them together in half, place it inside of a cable tie, cable tie down the middle, not all the way, and I just pull the cottons apart like so tighten it down so it should look like a little butt it should go out in four different ways when you do it properly again fold it over go to another cable tie right down the middle not all the way tightened butt it out like so fully tie it down 
Every second cable tie, I kind of want to mix it up with the dark brown. So we're going to go with the dark brown here, butt it out. Now we're going to go with another light and we're going to go right here next to this one. Now we're going to go back to the darker cottons. So you see what's going on here. I'm kind of going back and forth between the two colors mixing up the colors a little bit, just creating more disruption, right? Making it technically a little messier. But again, when we are crafting, messier is definitely better because it just adds more disruption to your patterns, right? Let's start from the beginning here. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with this balaclava, okay? So we got AGM right here, medium green with kind of little specks of the light green. Casa Snipes artificial ivy running up the side. Now we got more AGM coming up the side here. Now we have kind of a blank canvas in here, letting the Novridge leaves do its thing. Now we're hitting it with a lot of cottons, right? Cottons all over the place here. Now we come back down to some AGM all the way down the side. And then we have strips of the um, Novridge leaves right here. So what this is doing is it's just creating depth, right? Now at the end of this, I'm going to look at it and say, okay, you know, maybe I can add some cottons here and there, maybe some raffia here and there to fill in these really big empty spots because I think these are a little too big for my liking. I might add just raffia, some cottons, but not much. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to do something like this where it's just a whole bunch of AGM in one spot. I'm just going to put little bits and pieces to fill in the blank. And right here, so we have the AGM coming from the front and into the back. So what I might actually do is continue this pattern by just bringing a strip right down the middle here. Just boom, okay? And then after we have this done, I'm probably gonna make a patch right here on the back, maybe some more cottons on this side, on the side that we don't have cottons. And obviously I'm gonna be crafting a lot on these edges back here, just to eliminate this line right here. We kinda, we, again, we don't want these lines. So we're gonna kinda go through the sides here. Um, at the end, we're going to also add some coconut rope on the back side as well as the sides of the balaclava to like, you know, break up the silhouette even further. We're probably going to use four coconut ropes. So yeah, we're going to make a strip right here and then I'm going to craft up in here a little bit on the back side of the head. Now, one thing I will mention, guys, is I'm not even going to touch the top of the head. We're talking like this circle right here. I don't want anything on the top. I don't want raffia. I might put a couple little things of AGM like sprinkled in, but this part right here, about the size of your palm on top of your balaclava, I do not craft anything. I feel like it's a dead giveaway when you have raffia sticking up like, you know, half a foot up on your head. When you peek your head up behind cover, the raffia is kind of swinging all over the place. I feel that it looks a little too unnatural in terms of like when you're moving around um, it's easy it's just a dead giveaway so again size of your palm just don't craft on the top of the ghillie or of the balaclava so on the back side here we're going to get to this i'm going to loop some cable ties and we're going to start crafting all right guys so we have now continued this pattern of agm from the front here so it's coming up the sides and now we continued it into the back and made this strip right along here so Next up, what I'm gonna do is start crafting this top area right here. And then maybe we'll kind of go back to some cottons in this area right here, but kind of leave some strips and stuff exposed here. So we're gonna craft now the back side of the head and I'll sh jump cut to um, showing you guys a little patch of AGM right here. All right guys, so I went through and I added uh, more cottons on the top here and then some more AGM. As you can see, now it's like becoming a very disruptive pattern, right? You have the Novridge leaves, the AGM, the cottons of different colors. Um, we're kind of going from darker to lighter up the top. We have some artificial ivy by Casa Snipes. Now we're starting to see this really disruptive pattern. So right now I'm really happy with how this is. I'm happy with all the macro patterns that I've created and the depth that I've created. So what I'm gonna do next is literally just go through and I'm just gonna apply like cottons at random areas. So like right down here, I see like kind of an open spot that I can just add a random cotton right down here. Let's add a little cotton. So we're gonna keep looking around here. Kind of on the sides is a little bare. Um, let's add a cotton on the bottom here just to get rid of that sharp edge. See what else? Let's add another cotton on the bottom here as well. Just to mix in with the AGM that's running up the side of the balaclava. So as you can see guys, once you create those like patterns and you're not tunnel visioned on where you're applying like your crafting materials, 
after that is like the easy part because you can kind of take a step back look at it and be like okay like i need to add some cottons here raffia there like this is an empty spot here maybe i should add more of my crafting mesh like you know what i mean so that's the nice part about not getting tunnel vision just crafting the entire freaking thing because it just doesn't work that well if you just craft the whole thing by the way guys if you want to purchase any of the stuff that i've mentioned in this video including this balaclava i'm going to leave a link for everything in the description from the most reputable places that i purchase all these materials and um, and stuff from so yeah check the link in the descriptions it's going to be outlined you'll be able to find everything that you need down in the description there all right guys so i got a bunch of cam cs um, agm pre-comb raffia pinch a few strands here now I don't use too much to be completely honest. I don't like to use too much. I used to use too much back in the day when I was kind of more amateur, but now I kind of just use a little bit. This is all the raffia we're gonna use for this entire balaclava. Don't overdo it. I see so many people overdo it and it just, it just looks a little unnatural when it's just like too much. Now what I'm gonna do is make a loop. Now I'm gonna grab some of this pre-comb raffia and I'm just gonna make a loop like this Okay, I'm gonna wrap it around my finger, poke the hole or the loop through the cable tie, pull the excess raffia through, and tighten it like so. And I'm gonna tighten this down, okay? That's all we're gonna do. In areas like in between all the AGM, just because it looks like the raffia is kind of poking up from those artificial flowers or buds and greenery. So that's what we're gonna do here. Again, making a nice little loop, loop it through the cable tie. Bring it on through, tie that down. And I have another raffia technique that I'm gonna show you guys as well to make it look even more natural. So this is pre-combed raffia, it's already combed for you so you don't have to go through and split it. So what I'll do is just, I'll bunch it up, roll it with my hands and leave it like so. Now some of these strands are a little too long so I can go through and snip them. That looks pretty good like that. So I bunch it into a ball then I roll it with my hands. That's what kind of even breaks it up further. Now this is another technique that you can do and I absolutely love. I take a wire brush. So this light green raffia is the Novrich raffia. So I'm gonna bunch it up here. Just grab as much of it as I can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna comb it out with the wire brush. I'm gonna get it pretty good. I'm gonna go probably like eight passes through it. And this combs it out and makes it like pretty much as thin as hair. And I like this look because it adds a different distinctive look to the raffia, right? And it takes a lot of the contrast out. Like I do this to all my Novrich raffia. I feel like the Novrich raffia, it's just like the colors are kind of, they're too vibrant for me for raffia. They don't look too, too natural. So I'll go through and I'll pre-comb the raffia with a wire brush specifically, especially the Novrich stuff. And I'll do this because it makes it really thin, like this. Love this look. And we can even do this to some of the AGM raffia that came in the AGM kit. So we're gonna pre-comb this out here on the side. Thin, thin raffia, I absolutely love that look. Uh, we're gonna do this to a few more pieces of the raffia here. I like doing it on the backs here. We got some thick pieces, so pre-comb this. All right, so we got the coconut rope here. What I'm gonna do is make a loop over top of it. And then I'm gonna grab my AGM, shove it in the loop, try to get it to the middle. And then I'm gonna tighten it down, but I'm gonna pull it to the end of the coconut rope. Then I'm gonna spread it out. I'm gonna butt it out like we normally do. Fully tighten that. Now I'm gonna go to the opposite side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna loop this through. Grab some AGM, poke it on through. Don't fully tighten it, and we're just gonna flower this out. Now we're gonna do one more. Let's use a cotton though. So you can apply cottons to this as well. I think that's really smart actually to do. I personally like this technique. So we're gonna toss one cotton here, another piece of AGM next to this one. Maybe somewhere along the lines of right here. Maybe about three inches apart. I'm gonna grab my balaclava. Where do I want this placed? probably on the sides, right? We wanna create some disruption on the sides. So I like to do it on the sides 
of the head. So I want to pinch the cable tie on the middle of the coconut rope. I don't want to do it on the side. You can do it like this. I'm going to show you that technique as well, but I like to do the middle if it's on the sides of the head, if we're going to use like an actual bulking disruption technique. The coconut rope hangs off to the side and it mimics kind of like a twig, right? So I really like this technique. We're going to leave that there. Now we're going to go to the side here and we're going to do kind of a similar technique, but a little differently. With the coconut rope, we can have it pinch it on the side, but what I do is I actually go like this. I pinch it together like this and I cable tie around this part right here. So we're going to do that right now. Show you guys kind of what this looks like. So I, I really like this, uh, this kind of um, technique too, just because it really shoots the, the, uh, the coconut rope out. Now we have these two smaller pieces of coconut rope with the AGM attached. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply attach it and I'm just going to attach it from the side that doesn't have any AGM. Toss it in here. Securely fasten that down. Now we're going to go maybe, let's see, maybe on like the front. Yeah, let's go on the front. And let's do it like somewhere in here that's a little kind of more open. That is looking great. Looking really, really solid. Jeez. Okay. All right, guys. So we're tossing on the balaclava. It's the Novridge Everglade Sniper Boonie. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can tighten this up a little bit on the bottom to my face. Obviously, you can still fit your goggles in here. I might do a little bit of trimming around here just to make sure that the peripheral is a little better. But as you can see, looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Here's the sides. Sides. Now, as you can see, we have, you know, the coconut rope, which is adding more, you know, silhouette breakage right here. We have the cottons all over the place and we're just creating this very disruptive pattern all over the place, right? So I'm really happy with this. I think it turned out awesome. Um, this is kind of just my process for, you know, um, crafting balaclavas. I do this with my KMCS balaclava as well as the Novrich ones. Um, the last step would be just to trim all of these little cable ties, the ends of the cable ties off. Once you do that, you're basically good to go. You can make some adjustments. Again, guys, you must field test all of the stuff that you conceal, right? You want to always take your concealment to the field when it's just bare and you don't want to have any crafting done to it. Throw the balaclava or maybe it's your ghillie top, your trousers just onto the floor bed of where you usually play on your field and test it. See if the natural pattern and color of your ghillie actually matches your environment. If you're playing in a green environment, maybe don't go for a fully brown suit. Or if you do go for a fully brown suit, maybe you should be inking your suit green in different macro patterns and parts of the suit to match your environment better and then craft something like AGM on top. I really dig this crafting job. I think this is solid. I'm actually doing this for a customer of mine, so I'm sending this off to him. If you guys do want any custom crafting work done on anything, um, I can always source the different concealment parts and then obviously the crafting material. You can email me, which I'll leave in the description down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you do want to purchase any of the materials or this sniper boonie that I just talked about throughout this whole video, I'll leave direct links in the description down below. Thanks everybody for watching. Again, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.